Hello friends welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are here to explain the recap of a very interesting science fiction movie Inception. You are requested to watch this video till the last without skip. When we come across the word, Inception, it means to create a new idea in someone's mind. It is the movie that makes it difficult to understand the difference between the reality and the dream. Inception is a science fiction as well as action movie, released on the 16th of July 2010, which is written and directed by Christopher Nolan, produced with his wife Emma Thomas. The main character of this film is Dom Cobb who is none other than Leonardo DiCaprio, is a skilled thief, an expert in stealing the corporate secrets by using a dream-sharing technology. His expertise in stealing the secrets of corporates leads him into a problem wherein he becomes a thief that the cops are searching to catch him. Cobb had an ability to extract the secret from people's mind that they had never shared with anyone and in return he would earn a lot of money. The story begins when Cobb is found by armed guards on a beach in an unconscious form. They take him to an elderly Japanese man named Saito, Ken Watanabe, who had a large seaside palace there. The guards gave an elderly man two things that were found along with Dom Cobb i.e., a handgun and a brass top. When Dom Cobb is presented in front of Saito, he said that it's the second time when he found the same things and experienced the same situation. The story then goes to a flashback. Cobb and Arthur i.e., his partner, performs extraction of corporate secrets using an experimental dream-sharing technology. They had a talk to a prospective client, named Saito in a dining room where Cobb explains Saito that when a person is asleep, it's easy to attack their minds and create a multiple layers of dream and know the secret that is hidden for everyone else. As the cops were behind Cobb to arrest him, he had to shift his family to another place, and he was desperately waiting to meet them. As Saito was impressed by his ability of layering multiple dreams within each other, therefore he offered him to work for him and in return he would promise him meet his family and return to his home. After that Saito leaves the room and join a small party that was going on in the main hall. Saito offered him to perform Inception on Robert Fisher, as he was the son of Saito's biggest competitor Maurice Fisher. He wanted Cobb to perform Inception with a new idea in Robert's mind to dissolve his father's company and open his new one. For this Saito promises him to remove all the criminal charges of Cobb and make him meet his family and return back to home and meet his children. Cobb accepts the offer given by Saito and is ready to perform that inception and for this he prepares his team. He travels to Paris with his partner Arthur to search for a dream, architect. There Cobb's father-in-law introduces Cobb to Ariadne, who is a graduate student as well as skilled in creating labyrinths. Then after Cobb travels to Mombasa from where he recruits Eames, who is a British forger and Yusuf, who is a Kenyan chemist. The team he made is as follows. Eames a forger, Yusuf a chemist and Ariadne a college student. After forming a team, they arrive to Saito to discuss the plan. Cobb then acknowledges them with the basic rules and terms of dream sharing technology i.e., totem, and, kick. The first basic rule of Cobb was that the memories should never be used as a means to build any dream. And talking about terms of dream sharing technology, totem, is an object that lets a person know that they are not dreaming in actual and, kick, is a physical jolt that brings the dreamer out of the dream and bring back to reality. Eames, who is a British forger, maintains that the idea that is to be incepted must be simple, self-generated and should be planted over three layers in Robert's mind. Mal who is Cobb's wife and is dead violently invades his shared dream with Ariadne. Therefore, Ariadne warns Cobb that he cannot keep Mal imprisoned in his subconscious mind forever. After the death of Robert Fisher's father, Cobb and his team decided to execute their plan of incepting the Robert with an idea of dissolving his father's company and forming his own in this way Saito would have no competitor and he could smoothly run his business. The team decided to execute their plan on Trans-Pacific flight that was flying from Sydney to Los Angeles, wherein Robert Fisher is scheduled to be the passenger of that flight. To begin with their plan, Cobb spikes Robert's drink with a sedative that was prepared by Yusuf through which the whole team entered in a shared dream with Robert Fisher. When the inception was performed suddenly the guards that were present to save Robert Fisher from extraction shot Saito. Now the sedative prepared by Yusuf allowed everyone to enter in a dream sharing, and the dream was divided into three layers, each layer with different time zone for example, the first layer is of one minute then the second layer is equal to one month and the third layer is equal to one decade. When Saito was shot, he died in dream but he was actually left in a limbo, due to powerful sedative prepared by Yusuf. Limbo, is an unconstructed dream space or we can say an empty space. Even though, the team decides to continue with the plan, that is, Cobb extracts the combination lock numbers while, Robert Fisher was discussing his deep relationship with his late father Maurice Fisher and his uncle Peter. The first layer of dream ends here. The second layer of dream is casted into a hotel lobby, where Eames is seen to pose as female thief who distracts Robert and Cobb pose himself as a security expert who pretends to alert Robert about the robbery and help him and led him to hotel room that is upstairs. There in the room, Cobb manipulates Robert by claiming the suspicious motives of his uncle Peter. This is the end of the second layer of their dream. After this all three of them, that is, Cobb, Robert Fisher and Uncle Peter are sunken into third layer of their dream which is nothing but a snow-blanketed fortress. 
Then after when Yusuf claims, that their van has crashed off a bridge, and it's a time to give a, kick. When the team realize that they have very less time, Ariadne tells everyone the quickest way to escape the fortress. Arthur is then scrambled to a hotel room which is the second layer of the dream through, kick, wherein Cobb and everyone else is asleep. Robert reaches in the, strong room, of fortress but is shot by Mal to death, unexpectedly as Mal suddenly appears there. According to Cobb the mission is over, but Ariadne tries to convince Cobb to save the Robert by going one layer deeper. Two, kick, into one layer deeper, Eames places an explosive charge through which Saito dies. The fourth layer where Cobb and Ariadne reached was none other than a crumbling cityscape that was built by Cobb and Mal together in the 50 years, that they spent together in, limbo. Cobb confessed to Ariadne that he told Mal that this limbo was not real with the thought that she would wake up in reality with their children, but because of this, Mal thought that even the reality was a dream and nothing is truth here. Eventually she committed suicide. To this Cobb feels guilty that because of him, Mal died. After this, in one of the building, Cobb and Ariadne finds Robert and Mal and decides to wake them up to escape the strong room of this fortress. Cobb confessed Mal that she is not real and Robert Fisher inputs code leading to a large operating room, wherein he sees his father dying and telling Robert that he can live his own life, rendering to the completion of Inception. Once the dream world is collapsed, Cobb tells Ariadne to kick back to the layers of the dream rescuing Saito. At this time, Cobb is washed off the shore and found unconscious by the guards. Then after he is brought to Saito's house present there on seashore. It is exactly same as the beginning of the movie. Now when the Saito is an old man, he remembers roughly about Cobb as half-remembered dream. Then suddenly they woke up in a passenger airline next to Ariadne, Robert and Eames, and they successfully managed to come back to reality. Cobb then arrives to United States, where he meets Stephen Miles, who takes him back to his children and back to home and all the criminal charges of Cobb are removed. After reaching the home, Cobb goes out to play with his children, leaving behind the totem to continue its spinning, as never-ending dream. Inception, is an interesting science fiction movie, that deals with dream-sharing technology. So friends, today we narrate the whole summary of Inception in our video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop your suggestions and reviews in the comment section and subscribe our channel and not forget to press the bell icon, to get the very first notification of our latest videos. And also share this video with your family and friends as much as you can. Thank you for watching.